What are we doing? If you hit me an eyeball with that again. I'm sick of your threats today. What are we doing today? Micro camper. Wow. Micro camper. <laughs> what are we doing? This, this is pretty much mounted to my body now, so when I move around. Whoa! Yeah, thing on it. Could do, can I? Right, so what are we doing then? Well, we've just done this. So when they last looked at it, it would just basically carpet it out, so the kitchen unit's oh, actually right. new as well. But we used that extra bit of bamboo. That's what you, you did all that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, kitchen builder. Your kitchen builder. kitchen builder, eh? That bit of trim that's over there, uh, I carpeted on that side just because it looks better. Um, and then we added this bit in, just as a stopper for the kitchen. So we're gonna mount some shelves to that. We've got two doors here. The door handles have not. Well, the door handles did turn up the hinges, but they were. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna show them. Where are they? Where do you see this? So this is what you get for ordering stuff off Amazon. I ordered some decorative hinges and decorative handles. This is what turned up. Those are the hinges. But in relation to the tape measure. In relation to a fucking tape measure. Look. <laughs> That's what turned up, and these are the catchers that turned up. The catchers are minuscule. That's it. Anyway, Check so, huh? Check twice before buying. Check twice before buying. So, we're just waiting on some. You alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> Fell over. You your Look at them. Half the size of a modesty block. Half the size. So, I have to have some more. Uh, um, they're arriving tomorrow, so we're keeping this longer than expected now. It went away for last weekend and then came back. I only expected to have it for two days, and this would have been day two, wouldn't it? Yeah, you did all that in a day, didn't you? No, what day is it on th Thursday? So it came Tuesday, so this is day three, really. So, uh, so we're doing the micro camper build. We just, we just added. Yawning on, on what your What we camp. just added? Table. Do you want to demonstrate? So. Can't even see it from there. You can't even see it from there. <laughs> Um, it's just for it is on the one cooking before outdoors. anybody starts. It's on the one as far as the door goes, but it's level as far as the spirit level goes, so that when the, the customer is out cooking the gas, yeah, it's there. It's so um, that's that. The next thing is to add some shelves to that bit. So we're about to do that now, and then the sinks arrive in. So there's going to be a sink in here. Waste water is under here, and the reason why we've got two big doors here is because there's a cool box to go in this one. A toilet to go in that one, and then the wastewater will slide down that way. Um, do you know what size the sink is? I think 300. You're going to take this off to do it? Yeah, I'm going to take it off to do it. I mean, again, I, every day I got carried away with just making it, so I put it That's all right. together, but it's only on modesty blocks anyway, so I can... Then there's the lino. And then there's a lino to go down, yeah, which I'll probably do on a weekend, maybe. What else have we been doing? We've been naughty, haven't we? Oh, well, we'll, we'll show them around the... Stavros Flatley Mobile, because that's now done. Yeah. It's just a mess now because it's full of shit. No, it's only, in the, it's only in the garage, everything else oh, is alright. Okay. So but we, we have that. been buying things, haven't we? Do you want to show them what you've been buying? Come on then. Rick's been buying, because he's a naughty boy. Another one. Another motorbike. So, Rick's taking over with his shite. He's now got a motorbike for him, because a toy over there, and a motorbike for him and Debs, even though Debs didn't ask for it. She did, kind of. <laughs> she did. <laughs> but we went to pick this up yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. From Manchester, from Stockport. And cheap. it is actually cool to ride. Cheap as chips. Yeah, it was cheap. You can't believe it, you can get that much motorbike for that much money. It's yeah. ridiculous. But it's a nice little cruising bike, isn't it? With two it's seats on it. Tourer, so when we do Scotland and stuff. Yeah, Tourer. And I've been working on my bike. Um, added some new handlebars, slightly riser bars. These are what we're on it before, flat bars, which, and I prefer flat bars, to be fair. To be fair, I think you've had, right, a set of handlebars a week. <laughs> I've got... Because you've already on there, got yeah. three sets of bars. So, I put these riser bars on, I'll just sit on it so you can see it, right? I put these, they slightly rise up, so they're more like motocross style bars, but they also are a lot wider. So, it, I've just been out for a ride on it, and it feels so much more stable with having wider bars on. Because of the width of the forks in the front wheel, the wider bars make a big difference. Uh, so I went out to Alfred's and bought some BMX grips. So I rode to Alfred's without any grips on. <laughs> without any grips on at all. Show me your helmet. I bought a new helmet and it's so good. Let me just pop this on so it doesn't fall off. I went out to a bike night last night on my own uh, and got scared because it was... A, not scared, just got a bit too shy. Because Rick weren't allowed... Deb said Rick weren't allowed to play out last night. <laughs> you know what it is? Were you dad not allowed to play out last night? Huh? 
You had one wasn't allowed to play out last night, was it? Well allowed, was it? Um, there's a bobhead skull there, and it's well from the inside. It looks like there's some yeah there. in your it's vision. Fly. It's right annoying. You're gonna try it on show. Eh? Yeah, this is my new helmet, and I'm right excited about it. I've not had a full face before. I've had, I've had open faces all this time, but. Cut that bad boy. Sit on the bike. Can I reach? I'm gonna get a new headlight as well. That's my next thing. I've got. Cut that. It looks so good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited. That's better actually. It is better, it's loads better. You could ride it now. My apart from my foot touching chain. Uh, yeah, touching I don't, belt. I don't want my foot in that. Apart from that. Uh, anyway, we painted some more bits black and also skateboard grip tape on my foot pegs for when it's wet, because it's winter is coming. Skateboard grip this. tape and then skateboard grip tape on my brake pedal as well. Because skateboarding in BMX just doesn't leave you once you're at it, so that's why I've got BMX grips on my motorbike. It's like a little black and it really heavy BMX now. Just modifying the number plate so it sits upright now, so it sits in more because it stuck out a bit too much. It flapped around quite a lot actually as well, didn't it? It's alright, I mean, it looked quite good. It looked nicer that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that is. We're gonna have to stop buying stuff, aren't we? No. Should we show them around Stavros's? Yeah, do you want to go and do it now? Yeah, we'll finish. We'll, we'll go show them around Stavros's now and then we'll finish that off. Yeah. Hmm? What? Oh yeah, uh, this video is brought to you by my friends at Squarespace. Now, as you probably already know, Squarespace is a website that allows you to build your own website. And as I've already said on this channel many times, you can use it for an e-commerce site, which is dead easy to set up. You can use it as a forum, you can do um, e-shop, all, all kinds of bloody websites. And that's the main thing is that there's so many options. But one of the key features of Squarespace that we haven't talked about before is the ability to use templates. So you log on to Tinterweb, go on squarespace.com, scroll through, click on build my own website or whatever it says, then go into the templates bit and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of preset designs. So all you need to do is go, oh yeah, I like that one with that background, I'll use that one. And then it'll say, edit your title. So you'll put coalitionvans.com or whatever your website is, don't use that one, I've already got that one coalitionvans.com go check it out and then you just fill in and they already say about us and photos of uh, social media and all the other standard things that websites have and you just edit that yourself to whatever you want it to be so you don't have to use the generic stuff you can re-edit it to fit your website which is right easy so squarespace.com go check out their templates because why not Right, so the Peugeot Boxer that we showed you on the last video is now ready to be picked up today, thank God. Uh, but we've added some stuff to it, so I just thought I'd show you what we've added to it. Do you want to show them what we've added to it? No, I'll let you do it, you're back. Bear in mind that this is not a full complete build, is it? Because the electrics no, and no, plumbing no. have been done by yeah. the customer, so this was just a filler job. Yes. So, over-engineered bed is done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the main thing that's been added is the kitchen. And the kitchen is a hybrid between Rick Beechwood's end panels and IKEA. So the main unit is IKEA. The drawers, they're nice to be fair, and it? it is a nice kitchen. Uh, I admit it is nice. I don't like the grey worktop with the grey. I would have preferred a wood worktop if it were me. Yeah. I would have even had 18mm pliers a worktop to be fair. But anyway, that is, uh, so it's going to have. Induction hob, uh, hot and cold water, by bobble vans. Induction hob uh, is through a big 3000 watt inverter, which is under there somewhere. There's all the Victron stuff back in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what the kitchen looks like, and that's the finished van as far as building goes. Um, so we've got we've got two seats in, the little toddler bed underneath where I am, where the toilet is, and then a uh, super king size bed. Fridge. Yeah, fridge is there. Um, the the nice. diesel heater, Max Speed and Mods diesel heater is under there. Nice van. Uh, the kitchen is, uh, I mean, it's narrow between the seats and uh, and here, but th th that's what you get for having, you know, we've got four seats in here. It's still 500 units. Yeah, it's 500 units. Which is a normal size for like a camper anyway. Yeah. To be honest. But that's it, um, and then I'll show you from the back where it looks like as well. But I've had to bring that in. 
Yeah, because it was a custom size. It was what was the unit originally? That was six. No, no, the uh, sorry, the kitchen unit was three eighty. Was it? Yeah, three seventy. Three seventy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, because of the shape of the van, we had to bring it out. Obviously, we're, the customer is going to do something about that because that's not our problem. But uh, we built that back on it and everything as well, so it doesn't interfere with the it's door a and the flying unit. It. And I've put 18 on the back just so it doesn't catch the sink. Yeah. So when you look on the inside, there's, there is a backing to it. Yeah. yeah. Void. But stunning looking. Still, I like that it's got your end panel on it rather than the IKEA end panel as well because that ties that in with everything else that you see. Right, anyway, I'll show you out back. It's full of his junk because he's going to take it with him tonight. He's picking it up in the next hour or so. We're making sure that he takes all the rubbish as well. <laughs> <laughs> we don't normally do that, but... Well, our bin's full. Our bin is full. <laughs> uh, and there you go, that's what the kitchen looks like from this end. It does tie in really well. Um, again, we wanted workshop. the tap to go outside as well, so it's one of them pulley ones that yep. comes out. So, so you can use it as a shower head or something to clean your feet off and all that kind of stuff. But that's a job job well done, isn't it? And it's on to the next one. Um, we've got two two vans booked in. Two. We're going to be busy. So we're going to be busy. More motorbikes. Deb says we're not allowed any more motorbikes. Oh. Just don't tell her. Well, can, we, can we get another unit? Could you get rid of Deb's? We're just getting a, No, I like her. Can we get another unit? unit? There's somebody in there, 13 look. We're already thinking about upgrading, aren't we? <laughs> we are tempted. We just don't know how much it's going to cost. We've got... There's a unit double the size next door but one to us and we're tempted. Right, let's go get this micro camper busted out and then we can end this video on that. Right, so we've just made one shelf and we've put that in and we're just lining each other up, aren't we? Ah, I know that's a bit of a dead space there, but you can use it's, some of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One fitty. One fitty, right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Again, this is quite a basic uh, van, really, but we're just a little side project on it. Filler. Filler jobs. Filler jobs. So. Does it look straight? Yeah, it looks straight, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, they're just a couple of t shells, or you can even glue some fucking fake cactuses to it and <laughs> all that. All that jazz, uh, and then this bit here is to uh, pin stuff to as well, put little hooks on and all that kind of stuff. And we were going to put a background on there, but because of the shape of it, it's probably going to take up too much room. You could live in that, couldn't you? Micro camper for a micro man. Somebody said to me at the weekend, "You're not as small in real life as he says." I don't say you're small. You do? Do I? Yeah, he's some fucking dwarf. Well, look at you fucking laid this out big, in that. This is, this is a big you van. Stretch. It's not a this big. This is a jumbo. Van. It's your motorbike's bigger than this thing. This Look, is, this it, is, it can stretch out in this. This is a horse box. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, anyway. Good sleep in this. Just got to put the hinges on on that and then we'll be, well, when they arrive. Mm. And there we go, that can go as it is. With the, well, the sink and that. Don't hit, don't hit me in head again. Come on. Sense blade on. Right, Vauxhall. Ah, sorry. I'm telling you, I'll end up accident. fucking dropping you. An accident. Fucking dickhead. I'm looking at one direction. You get a smack in that vagina. Right, what are we looking at? Vauxhall combo. Vauxhall combo. CDTI. So we did a few little changes since we last showed it, yeah? I can't remember what we did, um, what it looked like before. Uh, but the cupboard door's now in. I'll show you from the other side because the shadow's in the way now. It's just too shady. Whoa! Cupboard doors. Uh, have we put the stuff in the cupboard? Yeah, the stuff's in the cupboard yeah. now. So that's where the cool box fridge and extra storage goes. Uh, and this one is where the toilet and also you can get to the water tank there. Aha! And then we put in a little. Whoa! <laughs> we're putting a little hatch here at the customer's request 
we weren't going to do that but the customer said they wanted to be able to get to that easier and stuff and i understand that so that's that and then we made a new table extended it made it bigger especially for gas camping stove. gas stove thing uh, do you want to put them these have been redone again they? yeah uh, well, we've done around. that a bit better than it was before. We're a bit tatty. Just around the hinges were them yeah, bolts. Yeah, gone around the hinges. Exciting little tap here uh, that's not working because there's no water in. But it's a rechargeable tap, so it all falls down like this. And actually, it comes off as well. So I made this little thing for it to sit on. Like that, pop that up. And then, rechargeable tap. Such a basic way of doing it, but perfect, isn't it? We are doing some changes. The customers asked for some other changes, but we haven't got time to do it oh, right yeah. now. Last video, well, I was laid down, remember? Oh yeah, that's true. So we put the lino down since then. Yeah. So the lino is down. We're going to put a sort of cupboard shelf unit up there rather than just those two shelves. In so the middle of that, yeah. Yeah. Up here and around. Yeah. And two then shelves across. Two front holes. Stop yep. things falling out. Yeah. That's the next plan. But we've done more than I expected in this time frame, really. That's where she has a poo. I don't think I'd want to poo in that. If I'm um, and then other things. We've got uh, the little step, cup, th threshold guard things, and then one down the back here as well. Uh, that's extended all the way to the back of the seat, so also they gain an extra three inches of length there which is you know handy in it <laughs> we all need an extra three inch don't we all uh, yeah so there we go micro camper build um you've seen the window i've already showed you that that's what it looks like perfect size for you it is Sexy new light and handlebars. Ooh, sexy. Ooh, not so much. Ooh, sexy. Ooh, sexy, but not so much. I don't know if you've shown me your new bike, but show him anyway. I've got two. He's got two motorbikes now. Oh, cause... Debs' his fault. That is Don't Debs fucking fault. blame Debs. It is Debs' fault. I'll say it right now. This is not Debs' fault. Ask her. Debs is. No, I'm sticking up, bro. So now he's got his own fleet of motorbikes. All the same colour as well. Yeah. Tall bike. Red Ranger. <laughs> yeah, man. I should get some leathers. Red leathers. I should get some red leathers, absolutely. I found that. That's a new you don't one. You want it? You need it. You do. It's your power pack thing. Your optimizer. Yeah, but I've got a charger. Ah, fuck you then. Don't bother. <laughs> One's great <laughs> bastard. Anyway. You may have just seen in the background of this clip, but there's a new van here. But we're not going to show you that because it's special and it's new. So that's the next van build, and we're going all out on this mother bitch, aren't we? This is going to be the best van we've ever we done. We say that every time. We say that every time, but this is going to be. Is it open? Yeah. Oh, oh! I hear that echo? I can't even show you inside. That's for the next video. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye, Felicia.